Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here back with another Destiny 2 video. And in this one, I wanted to give you guys all of the tips and tricks that I have on what you can do to your settings here in Destiny 2 in order to make the experience in the game better, but also to improve your skill and your abilities here in PvP. Also in PvE as well, but mainly in PvP. You're going to see the majority of the benefits from PvP using these settings. So after playing this game for about 10 years, there's a bunch of different settings that I've come across which have not only made the game easier to play, but there's certain things you can actually do to give yourself a competitive advantage in Destiny 2. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal all these secrets here in this video. Now, in order to get started, guys, this will work for a controller and keyboard, but the first tip I have for you guys is this crouch setting. Now, you guys may not know about this. I'm sure a lot of you already do, but with all the new players coming through in the final shape and that may have forgotten about this trick, I want to go ahead and explain it here. Now, as you guys can see, I'm crouching up and down, and I'm not trying to teabag or anything like that. I'm literally just trying to show you guys an example here. Using this setting, you can actually crouch twice as fast as other players. So by activating this setting, you will not only have a competitive advantage in PvP due to the fact that you can crouch twice as fast as everybody else, which can affect the recoil of some weapons. Or if you're going and trying to get somebody's revive and you're just bouncing around as fast as you can, now it, you actually will not get shot as easily. Now, in order to turn this on, what you have to do is actually go into your custom button layout settings. You're going to go over to toggle crouch and you want to go ahead and activate this with whatever button is you, that you use to crouch. Now, it doesn't matter what buttons you use. It's all going to be personal preference, but just make sure that you turn this on. Now, once toggle crouch is turned on, what this means is that normally when you crouch, you're going to tell your character to crouch. You're going to notice he crouches, but there's a small delay on when, when you can press that button again to stand back up. Now, this is what that toggle crouch means. Once this is turned on, you can actually toggle crouch instantly on and off instead of having to wait for that delay in between when it would normally allow you to. So it, if you want to hold crouch or if you want to stay crouched in the crouch position, you now would have to hold the button down. So it can make certain things more difficult, but I can promise you once you get used to it, it will make your aim better, your movement better, and it will help you to stay alive quite a bit in the crucible, especially when going to get revives or trying to pick up ammo crates, just about anything you can think of. So I highly suggest turning it on, get used to it. And this is definitely the first tip that I can give you. Now, as we get into some more advanced tips, guys, I'm going to go over every single setting that I have turned on. Now, your look sensitivity is, again, going to be personal preference. Now, I like my sensitivity extremely low, and I always have. Uh, people think it's weird, but it's never really been much of a problem for me. Some people love low sensitivity. Some people love high. It really doesn't matter. It's, in my opinion, it's going to be personal preference. But what you want to really be paying attention to is this auto look centering. Make sure that you guys have that completely turned off. I also suggest turning off controller vibration. Not only is it going to be very distracting when in competitive or PvP matches and can potentially cause you to miss shots, but it will also make your controller die much, much faster. So I suggest just turning off controller vibration. Now you can mess with your sprint turn scale a bit if you want, and you can mess around with your axle and radial dead zones as well. Now, as you can see, my dead zones are set to 0 0.003, 0 0.002. I didn't see much of a major difference when switching these dead zones around. However, if you guys seem to have a delay on your controller, you can go ahead and mess around with the dead zones a little bit, and it could help you just a little bit. Now, the more major stuff is going to be coming down here into the video settings. Obviously, if you can, you're going to want to try to play at 120 FPS. Now, if your monitor doesn't support that, or if your, your uh, PC or your older console doesn't support that, there's not much you can really do about it, and that's fine. But what you're going to want to do is go ahead and turn off motion blur, blur, turn off chromatic abbreviation, and make sure that you turn off all of the film grain as well. This will make the game a lot clearer. It'll run a lot better, and you won't get as many frame drops, in my opinion, when running these settings. Now, also, your brightness, that's going to be completely up to you. Your sound settings. Now, personally, I have my music turned off. Now, I know the music in Destiny is some of the best music, but when you're in a competitive match and you, you know, the second the timer gets down to 30 seconds, you don't really need, sometimes need that battle music distracting you. So that's why I have the music turned off. Now, there's also in some new settings which have just been added here in the final shape. As you can see, we have a new setting called Radar Background Opacity. 
This is a brand new setting, which you can use to make the radar either turn completely clear, or you can actually now have a radar, which is completely blacked out. In my opinion, I like the blacked out radar. It's easier on the eyes. And it's honestly a little bit easier to read in high intensity situations because you don't have to try as hard to look at it. You can kind of just glance up at it. So if you saw my radar earlier when it actually turned black, this is why. So as you can see here, it's a little bit easier to differentiate between the dots now that you don't have to worry about the, how it's completely see-through. Now this is gonna again be one of those things that's personal preference, but I thought it helped quite a bit. And it will definitely, it's not gonna make a huge difference, but it definitely will be easier to see people on that radar. Now, there's another setting here called full auto firing. What this setting does, it will actually turn any one of your weapons into fully automatic. Now, whether you wanna use a hand cannon, a scout, doesn't matter. You can use full auto firing on just about any weapon. And I highly suggest turning it on if you like full auto, because then you don't have to waste your mod on it. And then you can actually go ahead and use a different mod. Now, me personally, I've been playing this game and I've been playing first person shooters for so long that I personally am already just not used to full auto firing. I'm the type of person that likes to be in full control of when every single bullet comes out of the hand cannon and make sure that the timing and the accuracy is perfectly right. So for me, I keep full auto firing off. And the reason why is because I find that it messes with my accuracy quite a bit. The only reason why though is because I already got used to how the weapons worked before full auto firing was introduced. And so I think that's part of my muscle memory and why I have it turned off. Now I have some friends that swear by having it turned on, um, but so it's really, I think one of those things that's gonna be personal preference. Now, next up guys, we have this new thing called reticle location. This has been in the game for quite a while, but was only on PC for quite a many years. Now, after playing on console for a few years, um, we've got the below center aim on console. That's the default setting. Now on PC, a lot of people may not realize this, but the, uh, the place where your crosshair rests is actually not the same place that your crosshair rests on console. Now, you might not think too much into this, but when in PvP or even in raids, having your aim come back to that center point actually is extremely important. And where that center point is can make a huge difference into how long it takes to actually hit your target. So in my opinion, after playing both on console and PC for a few years and testing both of them out, I genuinely think that the center aim, not the default below center, but you wanna actually keep it on a center aim. Now, if you're on PC, I believe this setting may say something different. It's gonna say like PC default versus console default. Just put it on the PC default reticle location if it still says that, because that's the better one. Do not keep it on this below center default setting. Now, another tip I can give you guys is to go ahead and change your reticle color. This is another one of those subliminal tips that isn't gonna give you a direct, immediate effect, but it's sort of like the same thing with the radar, how we turned it black so it was easier on the eyes. Keeping this reticle color red, in my opinion, keeps your focus subliminally on the center of your screen and where and right on that reticle a little bit easier. And in my opinion, it can it's not gonna make a huge difference, but it's just a lot easier on the eyes and on those longer playing sessions. It definitely does, in my opinion, help to hit shots better and just to stay focused on the game. Now, also, guys, don't be afraid to use those colorblind settings if you need them or if they, if for the same reason. Subliminally, it will make a big difference. It's going to cause less eye strain. And, you know, the more time you spend on the game, you don't really need to be dealing with all that. So that actually is something that you really need to consider when going through your settings. So very quickly, guys, we'll go over a quick overview of everything I have turned on. So we have that 105 FOV. All those settings turned off for motion blur. We have the red reticle, we have toggle crouch, and we've also binded our uh, controls to whatever custom settings we want. So with all these changes made, guys, I definitely think your experience on Destiny 2 will be a lot better. If you guys have any more tips and tricks to add that maybe I forgot, be sure to let me know down in the comments as settings are always getting added into Destiny almost with every single update. They actually even just added a new setting called Full Auto Melee which I thought was pretty interesting. So they're always adding new stuff. Here's a quick overview of everything in one of my settings, just one more time in case you want to copy them down. And that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you enjoy it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.